What's up, y'all? Tracy here, back with another reaction video. We are going to do a reaction to Ruby, Volume 2, Chapter 6, Burning the Candle. Okay, so I don't, I still don't know that evil bitch's name, so for now I'm just going to call her Morgana, like from Merlin, because that's what she reminds me of. That bitch was planning something awful for the weekend, probably at the dance, because that's how shows like to like to do shit they like to like oh have fun and then the dance is gonna be chaotic as shit or something like that but i'm i don't know for sure mercury was looking looking good and that other girl i still don't know her fucking name she was just kind of there in existence pira and mercury fought they're testing her like they're trying to test their skill levels and stuff so that i'm assuming so they can take them down and slaughter the fuck out of them. But yeah, let's get it. Oh my goodness, Ruby. I need you to pick a tablecloth. She needs to get out of her head because she's sitting there being emo because Are of fucking Blake. <laughs> she reminds me so much of like Caroline or Rachel Berry. Caroline Forbes or Rachel Berry. <laughs> yeah, you just carry that huge Have thing. You dress yet? What's the point? Who cares oh about my the dance god, now going. she's being a oh, selfish empath. She's going. <laughs> Why? I thought we agreed. No doilies. <laughs> if I don't get doilies, you my don't ship. get fog machines. Your dance is going to have fog machines? <laughs> we were thinking about it. That's pretty cool. You ladies all excited for dress up? <laughs> yeah, right. Why Lap so desperately one. wants to I'll suck Neptune's nuts? What are you two wearing? I wonder if Neptune's him, pubic hair is blue. Like, I may have moved to Mistral, but I grew up in Vacuo. It's not exactly a shirt and tie kind of place. Yeah, we <laughs> <laughs> uh, What does Blake think of all this? She's still being all emo, you know, Blakey. Obviously, I still can't believe Obviously. To your mind. Guys, Yang, trust Yang's gonna make it Blake happen. We'll be at the dance tomorrow. <laughs> She's got some evil scheme of her, of her. Up her sleeve. Maybe she's just gonna drug her. <laughs> Bill Cosby her. <laughs> Actually, wouldn't even put it past Yang to like drug her and bring her. The fuck is she doing? Is she like like with cats? <laughs> it's so funny because she's part cat. And if you do that with cats, they fucking chase it around. <laughs> also, sorry if you guys can hear stuff in the background. It's just my place is pretty loud right now. But I didn't want to put it on. <laughs> she really was. She really was doing it. <laughs> mm. Hi, Ren. Long time no see. Sexy emo we kid. <laughs> Ren, I'm just gonna come out and say it. You are one of my best friends. These past few months, I feel like we've really bonded. Mm. Even though you don't say much. Even though we never I mean, talk. You're really quiet. <laughs> to be perfectly honest, I don't know that much about you personally. But darn it, I consider you to be the best <laughs> friend I've ever had. Ren is so... And I... <laughs> Which is it's so cool that Monty Oom actually on... voiced him. Girls. Girl. Girls. I just don't know. He's to... naked. Girls. Um, I I guess what I'm asking is, well, how did you and Nora, you know. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> <laughs> We're not actually together. Together. <laughs> Nora, I said headphones on. <laughs> <laughs> Nora, I love you. I ship Twice. Nora and Ren. I'm completely head over heels. But we haven't had enough scenes. She's cold, but she's also incredible. She's smart and graceful. Bro, and talented. Twice <laughs> just see? ain't into you. Like, you just know just when a girl's into you. Seriously, you know. I, I wish I could tell her how I feel. Go after Pira. Pierre's into you. Uh, what? 
Because my child. Oh no, no. Pierre is so no sad. Scheme, no pickup lines. Just be honest. But what, John? You can't get it wrong if it's the truth. Mm hmm. Pierre is such a sweetheart. Even though it's clear right. that her heart's broken. Thanks, Pira. Unless I'm reading that all friend. wrong, but I'm pretty fucking sure she likes John. Oh, oh. Nora knows. Practice what you preach. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, That's what I wanted to say. Stop. Practice you what you well preach. Your breath. I don't want you <laughs> to stop. I want you to slow down. We don't have the luxury to slow down. It's not a luxury. It's necessity. The yep. necessity is stopping Torchwick. And we're going to. But first you have to sit down and listen to what I have to say. This is just making me love Yang more, honestly. Even the way she's sitting so, reminds me of me. Up in Patch, an island just off the coast of Vale. Our parents were huntsmen. Our dad taught at Signal, and our mom would take on missions around the kingdom. Her name was Summer Rose. And she was like, super mom. <laughs> Baker of cookies and slayer of giant monsters. <laughs> Cutie pie, oh my god. One day she left for a mission and never came back. Oh no. It was tough. Ruby was really torn up, but... I think she was still too young to really get what was going on, you know? And my dad just kind of shut down. It wasn't long before I learned why. I think this episode's more Summer Yang the first love story lost. arc she than the, the last second. one. The first was my mom. Oh! He wouldn't tell me everything. My mom. But I learned that the two of them had been on a team together with Summer and Crow. And that she'd left me with him just after I was born. No one had seen her since. Why did she leave you? <sighs> that question. Haunts her probably Why? forever. I didn't know the answer, but I was determined to find out. It was all I thought about. I would ask anybody I could what they knew about her. Then, one day, I found something. What I thought was oh, a clue that could lead me to baby answers. Egg. Or maybe even my mother. I waited for dad to leave the house, put Ruby in a wagon, <laughs> and headed out. <laughs> of course she did. I must have walked for hours. I had cuts and bruises. I was totally exhausted. But I wasn't going to let anything Aww, stop me. Aw, Ruby. When we finally got there, I could barely stand. Hmm. But I didn't care. I had made it. And then I saw them those burning red eyes there we were a toddler asleep in the back of a wagon and a stupid girl too exhausted to even cry for help we might as well have been served on a silver platter but as luck would have it hey the sight the my stubbornness should have gotten us killed that night yang's voice actor is my favorite too I'm sorry that happened to you, and I understand what you're trying to tell me, but this is no, different. No, it's not different. I'm not a child, and this isn't just to search for answers. I can't say <sighs> I told you. I'm not telling you to stop. I haven't. To this day, I still want to know what happened to my mother and why she left me, but I will never let that search control me. We're going to find the answers. Yes, the Yang. So much respect for Yang. So fucking much. I don't understand. I mean, only uh, to do this. She's being. No, you don't understand. If Roman Torchwood walked through that door, what would you do? Thank you, I Yang. Beat the shit out of her. I can't stop him. You can't even stop me. Yes. The selfish. Ah. Blake is being such a selfish little. I'm not asking Cunt. to stop. Aww. Just please, get some rest. Not just for you, but for the people you care about. <laughs> Yay. You sweetheart. Oh my god, I love you. And if you feel like coming out tomorrow, I'll save you a chance. <laughs> I could ship it if I liked Blake, but I just don't. Like, all the progress she made, I lost all the respect to this episode. Because just how she's acting is just so selfish empathy. I just don't like characters that are like that. Oh, uh, hey, what's up? I know this is a little unorthodox, but I wanted to ask you something. Would you like to accompany me to the dance tomorrow? Mm-hmm. 
Jean, I don't even know where this obsession came from, to be honest. Like, you... Weiss clearly liked that guy, like... Oh, Yay! Oh, <laughs> Ruby. About how Weiss fights in these. <laughs> The tie. Neck trap. Neck trap. Oh. So does this mean we're going together? <laughs> Technically. Though my first dance is spoken to. <laughs> Idiots. <laughs> She's gonna be like, told you so. <laughs> I, told you she <laughs> I knew she would say accomplish. that. So, what do we do now? Just have fun. Yeah. Does that mean I can change out of these stupid things and into my hood now? Oh, Ruby. Stupid lady still. Not enjoying yourself? I mean, everything's fine. I'm just not much of a fancy, pancy, dancy, <laughs> well, fancy, you pancy, dancy. On the battlefield, even if you may want to. <laughs> yeah, that lesson's been floating around a lot lately. If you think about it, fighting and dancing aren't so different. Two partners interlocked. <laughs> Although one wrong move on the ballroom merely leads to a swollen foot or a twisted ankle. <laughs> It's not every day that friends are able to come together like this. Time has a way of testing our bonds. But it's nights like these that can help keep them stronger Aww. than ever. Nights like these are ones we'll never forget. Yeah, exactly. These are the important nights. You guys are just in time. It's gonna be Oh, these guys. Wouldn't miss it mm -hmm. for the world. How come his outfit ruins me is like squall? The CD uniform from Final Fantasy VIII. So that was a way, in my opinion, that episode was way more Yang oriented than the last episodes. Like, than episode four that you guys said would be really Yang oriented. Because it gave a huge backstory, and now we know about that she never gave up looking for her mom, and that's like a huge thing. And like, I don't even know if Ruby knows all about all that stuff, because she, she was a tiny little bean. Honestly, I just don't jive with Bla with Blake. She's she's very selfish. I don't think she realizes she's selfish because she's a selfish empath. So she thinks she's doing what she's doing for the good of people, but in the long run, she's very selfish. Like when 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 Yang told that story and then and then Blake twisted it around, it was like it's not the same thing. I'm not a child. It's different. Like that's selfish to say that kind of crap after somebody opens up their heart to you. I don't know. Hmm. I just don't jive with people that turn everything. Like, have you met those people out there in the world? Everybody's met one. Where you're like, oh yeah, my boyfriend cheated on me. And then they go, oh yeah, that happened to me. Oh yeah, me too. Oh yeah. Yeah, me. 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 I don't like those people. I don't like people like that. Which I might be misconstruing entirely but in this situation I did not like how she handled shit and it made me lose a lot more respect again since she's never been like my favorite character like comment subscribe share etc etc thank you all for watching I love you guys peace out